here we are, we're at um, a little place called Rosevale. And um, I haven't been on this road for quite a while. As I said, um, it's a Wednesday, it's a lovely day, it's a bit cool. And um, got a fair bit of rain last night, so I don't know what these roads are going to be like, but this is old Rosevale Road. This could be slippery. Who knows? Just take it easy, eh? Oi. I changed the throttle plate over on the bike, you know, the, to make the, open the throttle up further and um, quite pleased with it actually. Oh uh, yeah, this, uh, this is a bit slimy in areas. Right if I stay on these bloody wheel tracks. Yeah, so anyway, I've, I was going to get a full D restriction done on the bike, but it's going to cost about $1,200. And I had a bit of a think about it, and I thought, no, nah, I'm not going to spend that sort of money. And so what I've done is to see if I can make it a little bit better. I'm going to put a KN filter in, and I'm going to try the booster plug. Now reading on the, um, the booster plug site, it should serve my purpose. I'll go with it, will anyway. So I've also got a um, an R6 throttle tube that's um, on order. I'm waiting for that to come in. And I'll do the K&N and the booster plug and the R6 throttle at the same time. I know I'm not going to get the same performance gains if I did a complete de-restrict and a dyno tune, but look after riding up with the, the throttle plate and um, it's fast enough for me, I don't need any more horsepower as such but if I can make it run better with the booster plug and going by what I can read and understand about open loop and closed loop and fuel injection systems it'll give me about a 6% increase in the fuel mixture on acceleration and that's what I needed with the, the K&N and the, the um, exhaust pipe so they say that it really does suit the exhaust pipe you know when you change over to a performance exhaust and uh, a different air filter, so we can only see and hope. Now they say it doesn't give you any more horsepower, but it gives you better drivability. And going by what I'm reading, with what other people are saying, that um, they find a good improvement on using the booster plug.
pitch yourself into some stroke without knobby tyres on these sort of roads. Yeah, so anyway, I ordered that bloody um, booster plug and it came from Denmark. <laughs> it didn't even take a week with DHL. It's $252, yet here in Australia, they ordered $290 plus $25 for delivery. So go figure that out. I got, yeah, <laughs> from Denmark for less and free postage. filter came from what I've called Firestorm Motorcycles I bought that through eBay and same again it was here in less than a week that was here in Australia I bought that I got a ten dollar discount on that using a voucher through eBay and now I'm waiting for the R6 throttle tube um, that's coming from a mob called Krupalu, who I believe is in Sydney, Krupalu's garage. And, um, well, I haven't received it as yet, but they said they've received the order and it's been getting ready for shipment, so hopefully I'll have it this week. And I'll do the, the three at once on the, on the weekend, so once I've done that, I'll do a bit of a ride review on it. See now, the thing that gets me with these people have changed over their, you know, exhaust systems to a, you know, performance exhaust, all the different brands. I went with a uh, Van Diemen, which is supposed to have been made here in Australia. That's what they say anyway. But um, everyone complains, well not everyone, but the consensus seems to be when you put these pipes on that you get popping on the deacceleration when you let go of the throttle. Now, with my CP2, sorry my CP2, my Van Diemen exhaust, I'll let it, I'll let it, I'll let it go there now and change and I get, I get no popping whatsoever, but in saying that, I did modify the, the muffler and I put a uh, mid-pipe um, DB killer in also and to get rid of some of the noise out of it. And, um, but I don't get any popping on deacceleration, so and I'm not too, um, I get some hesitation at low speeds, you know, like, you know, when I'm going slow and on the throttle, you know, to jerk and carry on a little bit, but not much. But anyway, it's going to be interesting to see what the booster plug and the can and filter does for me. Because as I said, I don't need big horsepower, I just need a bit more drivability. It's quite interesting reading about how these fuel injection systems work. Anyway, this end of um, old Rosevale Road, the dirt. So stay tuned for a review on the booster plug, the K&N filter and the R6 throttle tube.